Hello, YouTube. It has been a while. I don't really have a particular reason other than I've just been busy. In this video, I make this building wider, this building taller. I fill in the space between the road and the bakery, and I build those crossing gates you saw earlier. I hope you enjoy. So all I'm really doing here is stretching this entire building by about four studs. Well, e exactly four studs. Uh, this allowed me to add an extra window on the facade on the front in a way that just extended the pattern. In the end, I actually think it's barely noticeable, uh, but I do think it makes this whole section of buildings Right, the assembly square, it, it fits up better between the two roads on either side. Not to mention, I don't have to use quite as many of those gray 2x2 two two tiles. As you saw earlier, other than making it bigger, I didn't really change the bakery much and the dentist office is kind of the same. I don't really change it significantly. I do have some ideas, uh, but I was mostly focused on the exterior, making that as good as I can. I extend the, I, again, I extend the facade as far as I can with those one by two nougat tiles on there. I want to build an x-ray machine and kind of match the style of the equipment that's in there. But like I said, I just wanted to get the exterior to the right size to better fill the space so that the outdoor tiling could be finished and I could move on to the other side of the street where I have plans for some other buildings.
Initially, I just copied the second floor of this building and it was gonna put some basic apartment furniture in there, but then I remembered how much I disliked this rooftop patio. I know stuff like this exists in real life, but to me, it just feels like an unfinished building. Like they forgot the back or something. So I decided to rework the roof section and incorporate it into the third floor apartment. And how it turns out, I think it's pretty neat. You can let me know what you think in the comments. Now for this spot between the bakery and the road, I had a lot of great suggestions from you all. Ultimately, I decided on some tables and chairs. That's just what made the most sense to me. Uh, I originally was gonna make them picnic tables, but I couldn't find a design that I liked. 
Uh, and I also realized I didn't have enough 2x2 tiles to fill that space. Not to mention that that would be pretty boring anyway. It's too much gray. So I made a little pattern inspired by the other patterns nearby. The same dark blue and ta dark tan and light gray. And then I chose round tables with umbrellas. I think it works. I totally would go get coffee, walk over to the pretzel logo bakery that doesn't sell pretzels and go sit outside with my coffee and pastry, open a book, set the book down on the table and stare at my phone. All right, but yeah, uh, let's go work on the railroad. For the crossing gate, I looked at a bunch of pictures of real ones and I found some pretty awesome mocks that really just looked amazing, They're super detailed and accurate. Uh, but I soon discovered that I didn't have the necessary parts, so uh, like usual, I made do and I used what I had on hand at the time. I like them, they're definitely not perfect, but it's very obvious what they're supposed to be and they have that playable functionality that you know kind of separates lego from other modeling mediums um i i can i could stress and try to make everything as realistic as possible you know order a bunch of stuff from bricklink and this i mean i'd have to release videos way less frequently or, you know, I could go for believability and I could move on and, and build more stuff. Do I want to add lights and make these gates automated and use like an Arduino or Raspberry Pi and program my whole city with Python? Yeah, absolutely, that'd be amazing. But even if I had that sort of time, which I don't, I don't, I don't think that that would be the best use of my time. I don't think I'm ready for that. I you know, I guess one step at a time. But I would rather just build more with bricks and we'll figure out lights and stuff later, I guess. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. It really does help this video get promoted more, get seen by more people. It helps me out. 
If you really like this video, please consider subscribing if you're not already and tell me why you liked it in the comments. I, I love reading your thoughts and your suggestions. I do my best to read all of them. And again, sincerely, thank you for watching. Take care, play well, and I'll see you next time. Automatic.